Okay, thank you for uh, joining us, everybody. Uh, we have uh, a lot of companies and a lot of uh, town acquisition executives on a call with us today. I just want to say thank you for giving me uh, some of your time today to walk through and uh, understand uh, unbelievable recruiting success utilizing some crowdsourcing technology uh, in the industry. Uh, today we have a, a couple people that are uh, going to be with me on a call. Uh, my name is Michael Bavaro. I'm the head of business development for Reflec. I have uh, Ashish Vishani, he's a co-founder and CEO of Reflick. He's going to be with us as well. Uh, and we have two guest speakers. Donna Gay is the Director of Human Resources at InTouch Systems. Uh, she's been a client of ours for uh, nearly three months now uh, with great success. And we have uh, Evan Learman from uh, Interactive Brokers. Uh, Evan's been a, a client of ours for almost five to six months. Uh, they've both had some very good success throughout the platform. We're going to be going through a lot of information about crowdsourcing, what is Reflick, how Reflick operates, uh, and a little bit more of thought leadership from Don and Evan. They've been in the industry for over 30 to 40 years combined. And they have a lot of experiences that we're going to cover in a Q&A session a little bit later on in the call. Uh, but getting started, I'm going to pass the call over to Ash, and he's going to go through a little bit more about the uh, industry. but. Before I hand it over, uh, this is a basic little agenda that we're going to be covering today. What is crowdsourcing and how it's been changing the way that every business does uh, work today in a in recruiting space? Uh, some of the success stories, uh, then we'll jump a little bit more into Don and Evan and speaking with them of how the industry has changed. Uh, after we cover some of the topics with uh, Don and Evan, I'm going to be walking everybody through a product demo of how Reflick actually works. Uh, and this call is going on live, so if you have any questions in the bottom right-hand corner of your GoToWebinar, there's a little chat area. Uh, we have a couple moderators uh, working with us today since we have a, a large uh, array of companies like Keurig, ADP, Univision, UPMC, and many others joining us today. Uh, but if you have any questions throughout this call, please feel free to jump them down in the chat box. Somebody will answer them live. Uh, and towards the end of the call, if we have some time and you stay on, uh, we have an open Q&A session. I'll be more than happy to address any questions that you have. But let me pass this over to Ash so you can go through what crowdsourcing is. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. So what is crowdsourcing? Well, the, the principle of crowdsourcing is that more heads are better than one. Crowdsourcing's biggest benefit is the ability to receive better quality results since several people offer the best ideas, skills, and support. I'm not sure how many of you knew, that, knew this fact that um, on the TV show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The crowd reigns supreme. Over the years, when contestants have been given the choice between calling an expert and asking the crowd, the expert was right 65% of the time and the crowd 91%. We certainly, all of us have seen that crowdsourcing is a key trend of our times. Various studies have been done which have shown that crowdsourcing improves efficiency, customer experience, and transparency. Many of us are familiar with all these popular examples of crowdsourcing. Uber is certainly a great example of crowd labor. 99 Designs and iStock Photo are some sort of well-known examples of crowd creativity, as well as I'm sure most of you are familiar with Kickstarter and Wikipedia. That brings me to talent crowdsourcing. Historically speaking, companies have not been able to leverage the benefits of crowdsourcing for talent acquisition effectively, primarily due to the lack of right platforms to facilitate that. That's no longer the case. As social media, mobile platforms, and crowdsourcing emerge as 21st century innovation drivers, talent crowdsourcing platforms are uniquely poised to capitalize on these trends. With talent crowdsourcing, number one, employers are able to find highly qualified candidates in fraction of a time compared to traditional recruiting mechanisms out there. Essentially, the idea is to harness the power of the crowd to fill job openings. And the crowdsourcing platforms are able to streamline the recruiting process and make it much more efficient and cost effective for everyone involved. Having said that, I'll, I'll pass it on to uh, Mike and uh, 
will help us to the benefits of uh, crowdsourcing platforms for talent acquisition. Now, majorly in this industry, uh, this crowdsourcing uh, epidemic is pushing forward a lot of success stories with the employers as well as the recruiters. And a lot of the important benefits that the employers seek is one platform. Uh, I've been in this industry for a while. I've dealt with a lot of clients. And one of their biggest uh, concerns was juggling the amount of uh, uh, agencies and vendors that they deal with. With crowdsourcing platforms, it's, it's uniquely poised to have one platform with a wide array of different qualified recruiters all throughout the entire country. Uh, with crowdsourcing and a pay it forward, and that warm and fuzzy feeling that people get, it gives a, a very large opportunity to find those passive or hard to fill candidates and also seeking those people in a fraction of the time and a fraction of the cost, which a lot of obviously uh, HR and, and talent acquisition industries love. Now for the recruiters, uh, independent recruiters or people that are moonlighting are always looking for an amazing opportunity to augment some of their uh, income coming in. Uh, so, but we're taking all the legwork away from, or crowdsourcing platforms take a lot of legwork. So there's no more hunting for new clients or going through a very long uh, vendor approval process. Uh, it's no more hunting for jobs. They log into a specific platform, see all the access to the opportunities, and really connect the dots very quickly. And since when most platforms or when most companies are utilizing agencies or staffing companies, requisitions are coming in, it's passed off to one or two people, and with having the ability to harness the power of the crowd, uh, it's not that way anymore. When opportunities come in and are live on platforms, it's instantly available uh, to hundreds of people to start working on, uh, so it's cutting that time to fill almost in a fraction of the time, uh, which the independent recruiters love because they can get paid a lot quicker. So with a lot of small enterprise companies utilizing this new technology of talent crowdsourcing, uh, I'm going to pull in uh, two guest speakers that I have on the call today. Uh, one is Donna Gray. Uh, Donna has been in the human resource arena for over 25 years. Currently, she manages the uh, human resource efforts for in, in touches corporate headquarters in Texas, along with three other offices. Uh, she's pretty much solely responsible for all the recruiting efforts within any company. And uh, Donna will be speaking about her experiences in recruiting and human resource arena. She'll also be able to, to discuss a lot of the problems facing the recruiting industry and how the crowdsourcing technology has really assisted her and her company's growth over the last couple of months. And Evan Lerman is uh, joining us. He has uh, owned uh, executive search firms in the past and now currently sits as the Director of Recruitment for Interactive Brokers. Uh, he has over 11 years of executive uh, recruiting and comes from a very deep, uh, detailed background. Uh, when both of these uh, leaders uh, in this industry came to us, uh, they came to us with a, a, a pain and a need. Uh, and they said faster, better, and cheaper. Uh, faster because there is competition trying to find uh, the same candidates for this. Uh, if you're going to work, you have to work very efficiently. Uh, better because their internal recruiters are not going to stop what they're doing. They want a better candidate being submitted. They don't have the time to waste of uh, evaluating or interviewing some hard candidates and cheaper. Uh, in touch hasn't ever really used an agency blend, so the people had to be the cream of the crop. And with Evan, he was specifically brought in to cut agency spending almost, almost down to zero. So uh, Evan and Donna, are you with me? Yes. With you, yes. All right, thank you for uh, giving us some time today. Uh, we have uh, a lot of people on the call uh, that are joining us to learn a little bit more about crowdsourcing. And I just want to have a pretty much like an open little discussion with you of uh, your background and your past. Uh, Donna, you've been working in the chemical manufacturing, oil and energy, as well as the telecommunication industry for almost 25 years as a human resource executive. Uh, what has been your approach to find and hire qualified candidates for in touch? Well, traditionally we've used um, many uh, sources, um, you know, advertising, you know, some social media, um, but I will tell you that we partnered recently in July with uh, Reflick, uh, and since July we've hired eight technical professionals. We have one job offer pending. Uh, it has really, literally uh, made my life a lot easier. Uh, no questions asked. Uh, I report to the CEO of this company, and I'm telling you, all of, you know, when you're down a player and you're um, 125 employees, 
it makes a dent. And so we have been very successful with whatever the proprietary algorithm is that you use. So I'll tell you that of, of recent, we've used Reflick um, as a premier vendor for us, mm -hmm. premier partner. Perfect. Uh, and Evan, uh, I know you currently oversee all the recruiting efforts for interactive brokers and have owned your own executive search firm in the past. Uh, you have over 11 years experience procuring top talent from multiple industries. Uh, what it's, with experience in many of the changes in the recruiting industry has undergone over the last couple of years, what has been your most difficult, difficult challenge? Well, some of the most difficult challenges for me is actually been narrowing down the skill set uh, for what we need. And when you're dealing with multiple vendors or even on your own, you have to spend a lot of time to get into depth uh, with the candidates and really understand what they're doing day to day to make sure it fits into what we're doing here at Interactive Brokers. And you know, using this platform helps me uh, obtain a very wide audience, um, and it's very specific, which helps save me a lot, a lot of time. Okay. And then Donna, with the growth in touch has had over the recent years, what growing pains have you experienced in recruiting, and how have you overcome them? The most painful experience we've had is scalability. Uh, how do we uh, fill jobs? We have three regional sites and a corporate office, and how do we actually fill those jobs um, as quickly as possible, but not just um, with folks to fill the jobs, but with, um, I guess as everyone would say, the skill set that we need in telecom, whether it's installation and repair, whether it's um, technical support, and this particular um, re algorithm, that the talent crowdsourcing model that comes from Reflick, I don't know how you do it, but it's been done very well. And um, it just, uh, we give you the detail description. I have a dialogue with the representative from Reflick, and then boom, we're off to the races. So um, the scalability uh, of our growth, we continue to penetrate new markets uh, and uh, do that very successfully. And these folks um, that are joining our team, uh, they're pumped because they're coming on board and uh, it was easy for them, and it's easy for us. It's, it's totally uh, fun for both parties. Okay, great. Uh, Evan, uh, being that the financial recruiting sector is extremely competitive, uh, I know, and I know we've had a, a couple battles with Bloomberg, uh, how, have, how do you make sure you can stay ahead of your competition? So one of the things that I guess I have is a, a little bit of an ace uh, in our pocket um, at Interactive Brokers is during the worst financial crisis, um, and I'm sure everybody on this call either knows someone or heard of someone affected, whether it be their home or, or their job or um, some other financial hardship. And not only what do you need is a strong understanding of the market, but you need to have the strong company backing behind to have that competitive advantage. Um, fortunately, Interactive Brokers, uh, ever since I've been working with them and the 16 years I've been recruiting for them on the outside before I came in, um, we are, were probably one of the only financial firms that was not um, impacted by the financial crisis. Uh, the reason being is we do not take uh, positional bets in the market. Um, we are an execution platform. So whether someone's getting killed on the other side or making a lot of money, we're making money on the execution. And because of our low cost brokerage business, uh, we're able to compete in a very fierce market. Um, and one of the other things here is that the very top of the food chain for us are software engineers. And I'm very, very vocal about it when I'm speaking to candidates explaining that the engineers here drive the traffic. It is not a product that is supported. It is not a business that is supported. It is the engineers. So behind the firm's stability, we have no debt. We've never laid off. We continually get raises and bonuses in stock every year. And if the software development is leading it, um, that has been able to give us uh, an advantage, uh, especially in the financial sector, which has you know, been very difficult since 2008. OK. Well, with Donna, with the telecom industry in, uh, is extremely comp uh, competitive, I know around you, you have like level three, charter, logic communications, and many other uh, major players in the business. How has that impacted during your hiring very qualified people? 
Well, um, two things. Uh, we have also recruited away from AT&T, Comcast, Time Warner. Just made a job offer last week to somebody uh, from Time Warner. Uh, so, so we are in a very competitive arena. We roll up to a um, consortium of telecom. Um, um, it's a, it's a consortium that covers 44,000 people for benefits. So we're very keen on compensation, benefits. We are a very employee-centric company. What does that mean? It means that, well, we care about the employees down to we have a carnival popcorn machine in each of our locations. And believe me, at 3 o'clock, popcorn sounds pretty good, OK? And so um, you know, we uh, need to um, hit a hire, get a hire that has an understanding of what the telecommunications business is all about. We, we don't really have time for, um, um, I guess, ha ramping up, so to speak. And so to be able to successfully recruit uh, away from some of these competitors has been very, very helpful. And the speed that um, I find myself directly involved in, the, I do all the recruiting, is incredible. Because basically we interview, we select, we do the processing background check. We do the drug pre-employment drug screen, post-offer drug screen, and boom, then we start have set a start date. So very, very successful. The process is almost to a, now down to a science, OK? OK, perfect. Well, I have one more question for both of you. Um, with being in this industry for so long, why did you decide to use Reflex Talent crowdsourcing, crowdsourcing platform to help with your recruiting efforts? Uh, Evan? Sure. Yeah, I'd like to answer that first. Um, well, a few reasons. One, um, because of how you have the platform centralized. Um, I do not have to deal with 10, 20, 30 vendors. I have a dedicated account manager, which happens to be uh, Edward, where we actually have a weekly call to discuss uh, candidates that are currently in the process, jobs, specifics. The more communication I have with Ed, the better that message is communicated across to the other vendors. And then what happens is they're only sending me what I'm looking for, which means that I can move the process through extremely fast, extremely quickly, um, and I build the relationships with the candidates um, right away. Um, and basically, as I'm talking to them, kind of even refer to them as colleagues right off the bat instead of candidates. So. I'm able to spend the time necessary to build that relationship, which I believe is, is kind of lost these days uh, because of email and social media. It's, everything's automated. And you, you need to still have that human touch. And you know, Riflick is giving me the opportunity to sift through candidates and get to the ones that I want to speak to and spend the time. And Ed helps me do that efficiently. All right. I appreciate that. And uh, Donna, what was your decision of moving over to Riflick? You know, Evan, I've never met you, but I have to tell you, I have this. Uh, Ed helps me as well, and he's always accessible. Sometimes I'll call him at seven in the morning. He picks up that phone. Sometimes I call him at six at night. He picks up that phone, and he um, answers my questions. Uh, I actually just returned myself from the Washington D.C. Uh, worldwide Conference for SHRM, and it's my belief, um, Michael and Ash, that this is going to be a game changer uh, for anybody who has to recruit. It's just my belief. I've been in this game a long time. And all, there's a lot of um, innovations and new things. But I believe that the Reflex speed, and exactly what I echo what Evan said, it's the platform. It's the fact that you have a single source for talent crowdsourcing that funnels through what we're looking for. I don't have to go through all these resumes. But it basically kind of, that's what I'm looking for. Boom, we get the interview scheduled. Boom, we'll go to the next step. And um, it's just been so successful that I've said to um, Michael directly, I've said this to Edward, I said, this is going to be a game changer. You guys, good luck. I'm on your side, OK? <laughs> yep. so I've, never met, I've never met these. I've never met Michael. I've never met Ashish. Never. My, my CEO, Jalen Findley of Entouch, said, Donna, I got a call, got an email. Check it out. See what you think. So I, I'm on the executive team. I said, I checked it out. I love it. OK. <laughs> and Donna, don't forget the main thing for the two of us, which neither one of us mentioned. Um, they're doing this at a fraction of the cost of the general recruiting fees. Absolutely. And I think that's very, and neither one of us mentioned that. And I think that the audience should be aware um, that you get all of this, and it's it more inexpensive. As you saw in my profile, I want it done faster, cheaper, 
Um, so you're getting the best bang for the buck, and I, I think that's important that people you know understand that as a total package. I appreciate you guys spending some time with me. I hope uh, the audience appreciates it as well. Well, thank you for uh, joining me, guys. I'll catch up with you after the call. Have a great day, guys. Great. Right, thank you so much. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you for uh, going through uh, the information uh, with us. What I'm going to walk you through right now is a little product demonstration of how uh, and what Reflect actually is. Uh, Reflect is a talent crowdsourcing platform. So what does that mean? We have roughly 2,500 independent recruiters all across the entire country, a little bit over 4,000 uh, industry professionals that utilize Reflick as a portal to connect to clients like Interactive Brokers and InTouch. We work very closely with them. We take their jobs. We post them on Reflick, and instantly it's available to thousands upon thousands of qualified people to source and find some very passive individuals. And we do this with a, a couple steps. First of all, we're, we're one platform, and we have a dedicated account manager that's assigned to every single company. So when we're sitting down, we'll have a, a 20 or a 30 minute intake session to learn a little bit more about the position. Anybody can read a job description, but we want to learn behind the scenes, the granular details. And once we have that, we'll post it on a marketplace, and instantly it's available to both groups of people. So the 4,000 individual uh, uh, professionals will Look over, the, uh, look over the job description, see if they might be a perfect candidate for it. Industry professionals are pretty much job seekers. They can apply directly to the opportunity or take that position and post it onto their social media, their LinkedIn, their Facebook, their Twitter, send it over to a, an old classmate. I believe people travel in packs of knowledge. This is a very good way of paying it forward. Now for the 2,500 uh, independent recruiters, they too can also cross post that opportunity that's branded in a static message on their LinkedIn or Facebook, but the beauty is they've been in this industry for roughly seven to nine years. So when they're taking those opportunities and posting on LinkedIn, it's going to a targeted audience of financial uh, advisors or uh, software engineers or job developers as a targeted audience. Uh, we also developed a, a proprietary algorithm, which is a keyword matching algorithm, which it'll read through the job description and it'll force the cream to the top. So if it'll read through the job description, match it up with the resume. So if the independent recruiters have 20 or 20,000 resumes in a resume data bank, they upload it onto Reflect, and our algorithm will go through and say, okay, great, these 15, these 20, these 30 people might be a perfect match, go and speak to them. As you in the recruiting world have been in this industry, uh, you might remember the last five or 10 or 50 people, but what about the people six months or two years ago? Our algorithm will force those people to the top. Uh, the next step is we have two other filters in place. Our main goal is doing all the upwards funnel work so that our clients don't have to. Most platforms will stop at that initial stage. Let's say that generates 50 to 60 people. Those people will then be sent over to the client, but we want to try and trim that down to 10 of the most qualified interview-ready candidates in less than 10 days. So we have a secondary algorithm with a scrub, which will scrub those applicants and try and get down to around 20 or 30. Then we have a dedicated account manager that's very personalized in dealing with the clients that they work with, like Evan or Donna. Uh, they'll sit down on every single call and go through every single job, learn every single detail, as if we were working for the client. So when those uh, candidates are scrubbed, We'll personally interview and evaluate every single candidate and make sure that we're getting down to the cream of the crop uh, prior to the submission. And since we're harnessing the power of the crowd, we can pretty much do this for up to 50% of the cost of what our competition can for a completely success-based model. So it's in our best interest to work very hard, very quick, very efficient, very cost-effective to make sure that we can get the best of the best qualified candidates and then send them over to the clientele. So within doing this, we're harnessing the power of the crowd, which cuts that time to fill almost in half. We've been working with a lot of major clientele throughout the industry since uh, we started. Uh, some major clientele like Rackspace uh, with some senior level architects, interactive brokers in the financial industry, uh, IT with CarMax, MGM, Broadridge Group. I mean, there's many different companies that lean on Reflick and our crowdsourcing platform to find some of the best candidates for some of the the easy as well as hard to fill positions. Uh, we go all the way down for your customer service call center positions all the way up into uh, high-end uh, six-figure 
uh, IT positions and everything in between. Since we have over 2,500 people working through our platform, it doesn't really matter the category or the background of the client. Uh, we have the recruiters and industry professionals that can seek out some qualified people for it. Over the last couple of months, we've had some very good recognition from CIO uh, Magazine naming us as one of the top 20 most promising HR technologies, Forbes on how we're transforming the workplace, and many others. After the call, I'll send you this over so that you can look at it at, over your own pace, but let me walk you through what Reflect actually is and how we accomplish uh, so much in such a, a very specific platform. It was designed to be a standalone, but it also integrates with all the ATSs on a marketplace. Uh, people come over to the Reflect platform and click on the sign up button. There's three areas in which to register. First, on the left is the individuals and job seekers. That's what I call the industry professionals. There are roughly 4,000 people looking for that perfect dream job or looking to pay it forward. And people do travel in packs of knowledge. So if I went to school for marketing or software engineering, I'm going to know people in that space and refer people over. It's a very passive market that we obtain some qualified candidates for. Now, the independent recruiters, we have a, a growth 20 to 30 percent month over month. Right now, we're nearing 2,500 independent recruiters with a, an experience level of seven to nine years. The beauty of these people is they might own or run uh, executive search firms. They might work for some of the big staffing companies, but they work on uh, Reflect because we're very transparent the way that we do business, and we give them as much help to fill the job as possible. Now, with companies like yourself on a call, they come over here to the employer section to sign up, takes a few minutes, and then they're able to start posting some jobs. Once a company starts posting some jobs or we schedule an intake session, we always like doing this, in this step because we make sure it's 100% accurate and we update all of the calls. When we do an intake session, we're, uh, if we're allowed to record it or jot down notes, that information will be tagged so when these jobs are posted or, or marketed on Reflect, our independent recruiters and industry professionals can also see those notes so it streamlines uh, the recruiting process. But throughout that intake call, we develop some pre-screening questions. We alter these to fit and match to every single specific job. Whether it be one or 20 recruiters working inside of a company where we're posting one or 100 different jobs, we tag the individual and their email address to every specific job so we know exactly who to go to when we have questions. And any people submitted through the platform, uh, it'll be directed right over to that person as well. As I said before, uh, we integrate uh, with almost every ATS on the marketplace. And we have a very close relationship with iSIMS, ADP, Taleo, and many others. And it's uh, a very simple process once we start that integration. We have a lot of technology backing us as well. Uh, technology pretty much runs this industry, and we want to put it in the fingertips of our people so that we could garner a very large uh, awareness about the job. So we have an easy job sharing that we developed because since all these people work through our platform and not for us, we want to make it very easy for them to see a, an engineering position or a tool setter or a director of marketing and see the opportunity, look it over and share it or forward it over to a person to apply for it. And if that recruiter does, and let's say that individual wasn't a perfect match, but he or she knows somebody else, they can sign up and refer that person. If they get placed, we have a multi-tier referral and tracking system in place, which will, let's say if that was a $10,000 referral award for a senior level architect, each one of them will split that uh, uh, amazing referral award and monetize our personal professional network. Now, we have an auto matching uh, that our recruiter community simply loves. It does pretty much the work for them. Uh, they upload their resume da da databases, whether it's 20 or 20,000. It's proprietary to them. We don't use it for anything, but it gives them an opportunity of matching the people. Just as you guys working in this industry, you might remember the last 50 people. This will drum up people from months or years ago and, and might see if they're in a job market. It'll uh, point those people out and steer the recruiters in the right direction. This is the back office of an independent uh, recruiter. Uh, they can easily look over the referral awards, see the guarantee periods. Uh, they have an opportunity of uh, sharing this on any social media to garner some attention. Uh, they can uh, refer this person or apply on behalf of the candidate. And uh, what happens there is once they fill out all the information on the candidate, prior to it coming over to us, it pings that person. That applicant has to give uh, uh, an authorization to release their information, then it comes over to us. And we give full transparency on where things are. So the recruiters love our platform because we give them the visibility in to knowing exactly where their applicants are, where the client is in their uh, stage of the process, and exactly what's going on. 
the clients love us because they update these little sectors. And if we're sending over qualified people and for some reason they're getting rejected, we have a weekly intake session or every other week with the client. We can get down to the nitty gritty uh, to find exactly what they're looking for. We can recalibrate our search and pretty much get back to business. This is something that should resonate with everybody on this call. This is a back office of an employer. This is actually where the, the true science of Reflect comes into play. Uh, the first uh, position to job developer was posted on Reflect for about 12 days. Pretty much in that time, we had 18 referrals. And referrals means that I knew somebody specifically that might match perfectly for this opportunity. I sent it over to them. Now, shares means 63 unique individuals have taken this job and uh, posted on social media to garner some attention. Now, what does that mean? We have a static message and branding that goes out for every single client. This is the back office of one of our uh, clients right now. This, uh, through those social media awarenesses and from the resume data banks, it garnered 880 clicks and views. Now, that might have brought in anywhere from five to 100 qualified applicants, but from our white glove nature and our personalized service, we interview and evaluate and we know exactly what our clients are looking for. Uh, we evaluate those people to get down to the best of the best and we only submit that. We're not trying to lock people over the fence to keep our clients happy. We know our platform is going to be successful. So we evaluate those individuals and those are the three qualified people that we sent over to the client. So once clients click on that, they get an opportunity of looking over to three people. We blend our technology with LinkedIn, but all the information is transparent. So the clients can call or email them through our system. Uh, if somebody's doing some pre-screening, they can share this with a colleague. But one of the most important things is obviously looking over the person's background. They click on view resume and they get an opportunity to download their resume and cover letter, look over their skills. But the most important section is the cover letter. Now, this isn't the cover letter of the applicant. This is the details from the independent recruiters out in the field and our internal account managers. When we're interviewing and evaluating all these people, we're jotting down all the notes and all the backgrounds. Like Evan might give us a questionnaire of 15 to 20 different things that people have to match. He wants to know the answers of it. This is all the upwards funnel work that we do. Our community and our company will evaluate the person, jot down all the notes before any client picks up the phone. All the information is right here, transparent. You have the life story of the person, which fast tracks this process seamlessly. Full analytics and reports go on so you can see where people are coming from, where they're at in the interview stage, and what you're looking to do with them. And one of the biggest areas that Evan and Donna is going through is our pricing platform. Uh, because we do this at a fraction of the cost of most of our competition. Uh, we have a flat, a flat placement fee or a pay for hire, which is a straight 18%. Uh, or for people that have a larger bandwidth of jobs, we have a monthly subscription at 14%, but it's also a platform fee of 500. So how does this actually work? Well, let's say we have a pay for hire that we're doing for uh, a company, and uh, it's a software engineer. It comes with a $100,000 uh, a year salary. It's 18% of that annual salary, so that'd be an $18,000 placement. So the way that our platform works and why it's so sticky for our recruiters as well as our industry professionals is we give the lion's share to our community. We want them working very hard on behalf of you or any one of our clients. So uh, we'll take anywhere between ten dollars and $13,000 of that placement fee and post it on our marketplace. So when the independent recruiters are logging on, they can see exactly what they're going to be getting paid, and they know that we're having secondary filters run through it, know we're having human interaction, so we're going to digest a lot of the information, and they know we're only sending over the best of the best of the candidates, so it's in their best interest to work very hard, very tough, very quick, very efficient to bring up the best of the best throughout this process, and that's what we focus in on. So once they uh, put that person through the system, if we recognize them as quality, we send them over to the client. If they get hired, uh, that person gets paid after the guarantee period. So it's a very straightforward process. It's very transparent, and we've been having a ton of success with this. Uh, our company's been growing and growing and growing, and it's from our community of recruiters and also expanding with working with a, a wide range of different clientele like yourselves on a call. So that's pretty much how Reflect is, what we do, and why we're successful. Uh, that is it for the call. What I'd like to do is if you guys have any questions, uh, we have a couple moderators uh, that have been answering a wide range of questions. Uh, if they have any, if you have any that you want to cover before we end the call, that would be great. Oh, one of the first ones that came in said, uh, do we have to work with Reflick exclusively? And the beauty is no. We have a lot of confidence in who we are, what we do, 
and what our community can do. Uh, we don't sign any exclusive uh, agreements within our company. Uh, we work with people very personally to make sure that we can deliver some very high quality candidates over uh, at a fraction of the time and cost. And yes, we do integrate with all the ATS systems. It really all depends on what ATS system that you currently have. Uh, we have some very tight relationships with ADP, iSIMS, uh, uh, Smart Recruiters, and many others. Uh, what I would like to do is, uh, when I end this call, there's going to be a survey that pops up. If you have uh, any questions, uh, my contact information is obviously on the screen. I'm going to send over this slide deck so that you can pass this along to any of your colleagues. And uh, later on today, uh, one of our uh, people are going to be sending this uh, recording out to you. So if you wanted to look over it, uh, you'll have the opportunity of doing so. But as far as now, uh, when I hang up the webinar, there will be a survey that pops up. If you can take some time filling it out or have it emailed over to you, I'd appreciate it. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for joining us. Good luck, and I hope to speak to everybody soon. Have a great day, bud, guys.